going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about the squeegee that I've been using on my videos. Everybody keeps asking me, hey man, what squeegee is that? Like what, what the heck is going on? Like how do you get to move like that? Like what is going on? Well, I will tell you, first of all, the window cleaning equipment that you buy at the big box stores is not going to be like the professional grade window cleaning uh, equipment that you can get in uh, like window cleaning resource or any other uh, window cleaning place that you can buy from okay I will promise you it's not the same thing my son got some stuff from big box store Lowe's came home he was window cleaning I was like, what equipment do you have he's like it's it's from Lowe's I got it from with my uh, money and I was like all right cool let me try that and I tried it out and I was like all right not bad but it's still I mean it's not the best right so these new guys get on here and try to squeegee you like the rest of us with professional equipment and it's really hard for them to do because it's not professional equipment. However, I did some modifications to this, okay? So before I went to Accelerate Channel, which is this guy from Mormon, I used the Unger Ninja handle on a Sorbo. Now this is a 24 inch Sorbo channel. It's not Zorbo, I get it. I got made fun of because I said Zorbo, okay? And then I also got made fun of because I cut one of these down, the, it was an 18, just like this and I cut it down to 17 because one of my customers and I still have that account and I still have the squeegee uh, she's got 32 backside windows and we have to squeegee them every single one of them every single month so instead of using a 12 inch squeegee twice on one window we would just straight pull on 117 I got made fun of that on that too get made fun of a lot <laughs> anyways I'm just messing uh, much love to those guys out there accelerator I kept the teeth on. A lot of you guys are shaving the teeth down. I wouldn't touch it. I mean, professionally speaking, if you wanted to rip this off of here and you want to put the accelerator back together again, then you can do that. You can put the flick pad on there and all that jazz. But that really didn't work for me. This actually works for me. I don't know if you can see the teeth on there and in between there or not. I keep it at the 40 degree. You're like, what do you mean 40 degree? All right, so you got 10 degree right there. Then you push this button in, this button right in here, and then you tilt it, and it kind of clicks in. That's at 25 degree, and then you click it again, and that right there is at 40 degree. I keep it at 40 degree always. I don't ever change it. Don't have to. I don't. For me, and personally speaking, I don't have to. This pole here is a professional painter's pole. You can use whatever pole that you guys want to. A gentleman at the painting store that we take care of, uh, somebody brought this back and he said, hey man, do you want this? We're just going to be pitching it. I said, yeah, sure. Um, it was one of the suppliers um, that was not going to take it back with him. And I said, yeah, and I'll buy a cone from you guys. So I got a cone from them. And the cool thing about this cone, real quick, you can buy them on eBay or whatever. Look online and you can find, just go to Black uh, Cone Adapter. Uh, what I like about it is you can just slip that on there and it doesn't spin. Right? So if I use an Eteray one of these, what will happen, it will sit here like this and it will spin around. It's hard as heck. That's an Eteray pull. I like it, but not with that, so I had to buy a cone adapter for it. Unger, same way. Really hard to get off, which is nice. A little tug. But that is the squeegee I use. I love it. What else can I say? I mean, change your guys' rubber on there, uh, which is nice because a lot of the times, here's the trick real quick and I'll, I'll be done. The edge of the squeegee, unless you obviously get a nick in the rubber like here, then I'd say get rid of the whole rubber. But most of the time they get burnt out here and here. Save your rubber so then I can boot this one down to a 12 inch squeegee, okay? And then after the 12 inch squeegee's burnt out on either side, then I can go ahead and take that down to a ledger or a six inch squeegee, whatever you prefer it with. So then that way you guys aren't, you know, burning through your guys' rubber like crazy. So when I go from this one here, 24 inch, once I'm done burning the edges on these, I'll go ahead and cut it down and make it into an 18 and you save your rubbers. So I'll help you guys out. Uh, learn that technique from window cleaner. Gosh, I can't think of his name. He's got a bull head, which are a lot of window cleaners, um, but he does a lot of high rise stuff so I learned that technique from cool stuff oh real quick if you guys have a slim body channel leave your teeth on there 
I think that you guys can. I've never tried this on a thin body, uh, like an Adore or an Unger channel, of the thin body ones. What I would recommend is putting some duct tape. I've seen some guys duct tape them. I can't think of the guy's name. I know Luke does it, and then, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the other guy's name. He owns a company with his brother-in-law or something. I forget. Anyways, that guy, he does it too. You can see his channel modifications. I can't think of his name. Oh, well. He does it as well, which is really cool. He does some pretty cool stuff on his. Oh, Window Cleanse. He does some amazing modifications. And he's got some good videos. So check him out too. He's got some amazing videos. Um, well, it's got some amazing videos out there. My buddy Aaron from Hydro Grind, he's got sweet videos. If you guys are into power washing, he does very, very well every year. Um, oh, John Lang. Dude, this guy. This guy's awesome. Oh, also, real quick, I'm giving these shout outs um, because I think they're just doing phenomenal. Um, Jesse, the window cleaner. You guys got to go check that guy out. He is like starting from the bottom. And I wish I would have taken videos from then until now. Man, I, I wish I could go back and redo my videos uh, so I can go ahead and start from like back when I was in the truck and be like 28 days of living in a truck. I mean, that would have been awesome. But this guy, he's on the ball. He's doing his thing. So I love you guys. But yeah, that's the, that's the squeegee. Very, very simple and easy. I always keep that loose there so if it doesn't have, you can snap that button at the bottom and make sure it, it doesn't twist if you need to for some reason. But yeah, that's what I use. Love you guys. See you.